Hi Flosstube, it's Jerry Caldell, the Yankee Creek Stitcher, back for Flossmas Day 4. It's December 4th, 2018, and I am enjoying a mug of coffee, holiday blend coffee with my pumpkin spice creamer and this handmade uh, pottery mug that my daughter got me for my birthday. I love handmade mugs. Every time I go to an art, arts and crafts fair, it's the one thing I have to have from everyone I go to. And it's a beautiful blue and brown. I love that. So today, um, my husband's squad sergeant stopped by and um, he has a tradition of getting each of the troopers on his squad a ornament. The Indiana State Police um, issues an ornament each year and um, each year that he's been on his squad he has gifted us an ornament and I love that so I'm sitting in front of my tribute tree tonight um, I realized I have so many pretty Christmas backgrounds and I'm just sitting in my studio every night for my Flossmas video so um, I'll switch it up each evening um, but I thought today would be appropriate to sit in front of my tribute tree um, I'm missing a few years um, when he wasn't in his squad. Um, he didn't get these ornaments, but he did catch us up on one year. We didn't get the 2016, and this is the 2016 ornament that they had issued. It's one of their motorcycles. It's, this is one of their old motorcycles, obviously. And then it says Indiana State Police, Integrity, Loyalty, Community. So that will go on my tree. And this year, it's the state of Indiana, Indiana State Police with their badge, and on the back, the year of 2018. So his goal is to be a squad sergeant one day, and his sergeant told him today, well, you make sure you carry on that tradition when you make squad sergeant one day. And I told him, you definitely will since we're big on Christmas, so I love that. Okay, so I went to the grocery today and being that I have a start every single day, um, I was gonna put each starts in Ziploc baggies. Well, I don't want plain old Ziploc baggies and some of the, um, like yesterday's with the uh, Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine, it was a little bit larger than just the gallon size bag. So I actually found um, the, a two and a half gallon size bag, which works out great for those. And I'll probably like combine each week's worth into one of these big ones as well, which would be helpful to keep them all together. But I also came across some gallon ones that I couldn't resist. They're holiday prints with Christmas trees. So I had to get a pack of those, even though they were the gallon, because I didn't have enough gallon for the entire month. So, <coughs> sorry. So today's chart that I decided to stitch on um, is not an ornament, a little bit bigger. I decided to do a Prairie Schooler um, December. This is the one I just got in. I believe I got this one off of eBay. Um, but I'm gonna do this one here. It looks like a really big uh, stitch, but it's 144 by 90. So on a, I'm using Luminous Fiber Arts, Misty Purcell's 36 count macchiato to stitch it on. So it will finish at five inches by eight inches. So I got at a fat eighth from her. So I just cut it right in half and it's perfect. So I have another half for another stitch that I'll have this month as well that I'm super excited about. So as you can see, I haven't started on it yet. <laughs> it's been a busy day so far, um, but that's my intentions. The rest of the evening is to um, take my cup of coffee, head to the couch and start stitching. Hopefully I'll get a couple hours in and see how far we get. Um, 
And on my stitch from yesterday, I got the L completed and the E completed. So I have the L and the E, which I think that's pretty good for a couple hours worth of stitching. Um, that's all I have to share for this evening. Um, please come back for Flossmas Day 5. Merry Christmas, everyone.